Hello everybody, welcome to our next video if we are talking about using pinch pots in our form. So our first video we talked about making pinch pots, second we talked about putting them together, and then also using a paddle to shape it. And today we're going to talk about other pinch pot details and how you can start to attach pieces together. So if I were to create something like this and I wanted my pinch pot to be one of these main body parts, right? I could make these parts like this and this out of coil or other smaller pinch pots. So first you have to get the shape of your overall body correct and you want it to be starting to get a little more leather hard. If it's too soft and then I work on top of it, what will happen is it'll start to kind of shrink down, not shrink down, kind of lay down and get really heavy at the bottom. So make sure it's at the right consistency first. So I've made a couple other pinch pots here. You might notice that they look a little bit different than your traditional pinch pot. And that's because I wanted such specific shapes like a cone shape, or in this case, something that was a little lower. So what I did was I started with a ball of clay that was a little more smushed for this one. For this one, I started with more of a cone shape and got my finger into the inside to open it up. So they're pretty rough in their shape, but remember just like we did before, I can do things like paddling, right, to kind of clean up the shape. I can do things like pressing or rolling to clean up the shape. I can also take and almost use my finger when it starts to get a little harder to kind of smooth out the shape a little bit. All right, so let's say my plan was to kind of add this onto the side in some sort of interesting way. Let's say I wanted kind of that traditional shoulder with the neck and then the lip, but maybe I want it at a strange angle. So the first thing I need to do is cut into the piece so that I get the edges that I want. Maybe this top edge I want to be neater. So what I could do is cut it so that it is a little bit neater. Once again, all of this works well when it's a little bit closer to leather hard. I'm working on it a little soft. So now I've got a cleaner edge. I could go in and clean that up, especially when it's leather hard, that will be easier. I wanna also cut where it's going to be attaching to my form. So we have to cut through so that the liquid can go through. So if I'm gonna cut this at a different angle just to accentuate the quirkiness of it, I cut through. I don't really see much space, so I'm actually gonna make the hole a little bit wider, okay? And now, if I'm gonna attach this on in some capacity, what I would be doing is sketching onto my form that exists already, where that place is. And then when this is leather hard, I would cut down into the opening so that the holes correspond to one another. Okay, so cutting, cleaning it out. You guys can do a much better job of making sure there's a nice interior space, opening it up. And then I could easily slip and score those pieces on. Because it is an important element, I would also do that band-aid coil on and smooth it in. Okay, so once again, you're making your forms, you attach them when they're, it's leather hard, slipping and scoring. Let's say I wanted this element to be my foot, okay? Especially now, you've gotta make sure that it is hard enough because if I attach this today, when this bottom piece is not quite hard enough, it will completely implode. For a base, I kind of have a choice whether I wanna open this up and cut a hole in it and connect it, and then I'd have to add another base. Or in this case, since I just want it to be decorative, I'm just gonna slip and score it on the top. I don't have to cut into this form. Before I attach it, I wanna clean it up. I want it to look as nice as I would like it to be. So I can do things while it's soft, like smoothing, pinching. I can also do things like cutting that edge if I wanted it to be, let's say I wanted it to have more of an opening. I could draw out what I'm thinking. Maybe it's some specific curve. And then when it's leather hard, remember mine is a little soft for this, could cut into it. And now if I were to stand it up, if I did those on both sides, I have this cool form with this cool cutout. Maybe I even wanna accentuate it a little more. So it still has a foot on it to stand, but it's got a little bit more of an interesting shape. So those are some basic things that you can do with pinch pots to start kind of playing around with how they're gonna to go together. Um, I'm also gonna to show you in another video how you can use coil to do similar things.